Welcome to Knit and Not by the Sea. This is our floss tube. We're coming to you from Port Chalmers, New Zealand, and today is the 16th of November 2021. My name is Catherine. And I'm Victoria. And welcome! You're that welcome. was the best one yet! I know. We're, we're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Anyway, how hello. Are you? I'm good. Hello and welcome, everyone. Um, good to be back. New people. Hello. Look at you. Yeah. I know. Um, you guys know the drill. We talk about cross stitch for the well, we talk about nothing for the well. This and that. This and that for ten or fifteen minutes, then we get into what we've been doing cross stitch wise, and then at the end Catherine rounds off with what she's been doing with her other crafts. Yes. I've only ever done other crafts once. <laughs> <laughs> We're judging. Huh? Yeah. Yep. So So what how are you? I'm well. Yeah. No, not a lot new for me for the last two weeks. So we've had a couple of big deadlines at work. So I've been working long hours and weekends and oh, that sucks. doing a bit of stitching. Um, my house has finished being painted, so Ooh, it's looking great. It does look so beautiful. I would take a picture and show you, but I think that's a little bit... Um, oh, it's weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird, so I won't. Um, and I am currently in the process of looking for a new <laughs> car. It hasn't stopped me <laughs> with a <the> little house. <laughs> this is my new house on Instagram. Yeah, whatever. Uh, um, yeah, you're looking for a new car. So, um, can you vote? Should um, Victoria go for a hybrid slash electric car? See, I would like a hybrid slash electric car, but the ones I want not in my price range. But I'm finding that I'm... all the cars that I want not in my price range. Can we can we talk about how much you're gonna spend? Ten grand. 10 grand so how much did we spend on our oh, yeah yeah we spent even with the more. eight grand um rebate. so new zealand has an eight thousand dollar rebate for plug-in cars so it's not for hybrids it's only one for ones that plug in is my understanding oh, okay um so whereas i would like to go for an electric car for an electric car that would do you know it's more than that so unfortunately yep. the next one will have to be the electric no yeah but i reckon you work out because I presume that you're gonna like borrow some of that money as most humans borrow to buy a car yeah. in some way. So then you factor in how much you're paying back on your mortgage mm -hmm. versus the money that you're not spending on petrol. Because petrol is getting really expensive. And, petrol and, is. And that is beyond my understanding of maths. Yeah. So Donahi, can you figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> um, one of our viewers, Donahi, she's a friend of mine mm. um, who I met via this and. Uh, yeah. She's a doctor of maths. She's very clever. Yeah, I'm looking for a small SUV. I want something that I have to climb up into as opposed to fall down. At the moment, I've yeah. got this sedan, really low seats, and I'm quite a tall person. Yes, and it's taller than me, aren't you? Yeah, just just a sheer under six foot, I think. But I am interested in like the, the maths of mm, absolutely. Because if if petrol and, and it won't be, but if you're spending two hundred dollars on petrol a week. But with a new car, you only spend a hundred. Yeah. Then you've got a hundred to play with as far as loans. Yeah. Except I spend about thirty dollars a week on petrol. I'm I'm just <laughs> putting it out. <laughs> anyway, I am camp electric here, but you're right. We did end up spending yep. more. I would like an electric vehicle. Um, I just think that it's going to have to be the next one because the ones I can afford now have got old batteries in it, mm. which is sort of back to square one. Mm. But I'm not. Uh, discounting it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's face it, at the end of the day, see, I, I, I'm married and Martin sorts all that out and I'm like, what colour? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a silver car. I Oh, yes, it sucks. I've oh. ended up with silver cars in the past. Silver and white, hate them. Red, hate them more. Um, and when you buy a second hand, there's not a lot of choice. There's not a lot of choice. I've had silver cars. I've been brought up with silver cars. I just want something different. The blue. one I've got at the moment is silver. I'd love a black one, one of those beautiful sort of blue ones that you've got, and, um, or a red. I don't care. I don't care if it's white. I just I don't want a silver one. Yeah, something that complements your house would be lovely. It would be nice, <laughs> yes. Um, I'd I also don't... like a reversing camera because I'm a bit shit at parallel parking. Oh, yes, I've got a reversing camera, and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, I've my current car is... I'm having to replace my car because my mechanic told me uh, last time he serviced it, that it would not get a warrant this time. Mm -hmm. And that it was time to look for a new one, so. See, our previous car was a Prius. And we bought it when I was 13 years old. The nice thing about New Zealand is that you buy these really old cars, but they actually look so snazzy. Yeah. Because they've been like, they've probably been in Japan. They came from Japan, and they were probably a third or fourth car, apparently. 
So they're, they're very clean, they're, they've not been they bashed look, around. Yeah. Um, but of course we bought that, it was 13 years old when we bought it, and then we had it for about 10 years? Yeah. The thing wouldn't die. <laughs> but it was like, it was kind of modernish for what it was. But then there was such a gap. This car that we have, you don't like push the key into anything. No, it's like, just... we didn't know what to do. <laughs> And then it yeah. had a camera and a radio that worked and yes, yeah, so my current car is 1998 or 1996, so it's quite old. Um, car having just, ugh. Ugh. but we do like to live by the sea. We do. And do. yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yeah. So I'm car hunting. I hate car hunting. It is boring. I tried to get my brother to do it for me, but he was. He's busy car hunting himself, but he's in a completely different price bracket to me. Oh, is he? Yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, they're looking for a ute, so. Because oh. they live on a, a small um, lifestyle block out in the country, so. It so makes a sense. small farm. A small farm, yeah. Um, but you're open to your brother getting your car. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have his old car, but his old car is worth more than what I'm spending on a new car. Oh, okay, so have you given him the B? No. Well, next time, <laughs> give him the B, and I'm like... We can do an exchange now. You have to give him this B. I do. I've got to iron it again. I think I um I iron it and then I put it in the frame too quickly and it sort of yeah. He's really bothered. He's really bothered. Oh, he's he just really, really bothered. Wants his B. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's you. So that's me. You've been working overtime and thinking about a car. Yeah, and doing some stitching and watching uh, Criminal Intent and Yellowstone because Yellowstone's back. I don't even know what that is. I don't think you'd like it. I'm sure I would. It's cowboys. <laughs> and shooting. Yeah. I'm, I'm the intellectual one in the group. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reaction. <laughs> Victoria's normally so polite, but oh. there was disdain in her look. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just thinking about how many times have you watched Bridgerton? Now I've got nothing against Bridgerton. Oh my God. I've watched that as well. Someone said the next one's coming out, and I was like, I've got to watch Bridgerton again. <laughs> just, you know. I've read all the We should have a crafting well. day and just have it on. And, um, oh, no, no, I'm not watching that with anyone. Yeah, I'll watch that alone. True. true, that's one of the ones I'm like, oh, mum, you should watch it, but not with me. Yeah, it's like Game no, of Thrones. No. Yeah, no, not I can't. with me, mum. Oh, yeah, no, I've never watched Game of Thrones. I, I watched a little bit of one and I found it too violent. It's so. very violent. Yes, I'm a delicate flower. <laughs> um, I mean, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm a delicate flower. Um, what have so, I been doing? Um, I've been having lots of like mild but painful periods. I moaned about it on Instagram, so that's been a little bit annoying. Um, I removed my chin hairs today. That's Ooh. all part of like the joy that is my life at the moment. Lovely, lovely. Did you name them? No, it was because I was rushing. I was rushing for lunch. I was like, ah! <laughs> um, what else have I been doing? Oh, oh yes, I, I've had, yeah, I've had happenings, haven't I? You have. So my, my baby, Christinita, She's gone off to Stewart Island for three months. So I, I took the day off work yesterday and I drove her down to Invercargill. Mm -hmm. And that was lovely. It was a bit of, you know, mum-daughter. So for those of you that don't know, this is another place where we need our map of New Zealand. New Zealand is made up of essentially three islands. There's the top island, which is the north. Mm. The bottom, middle island, which is the south island, which is where Catherine and I are. Mm. And then at the bottom, there's a tiny little island that's called Stewart Island. And before people are offended, it has many other islands. Oh, it and, does, yes. And they are... Some of them are populated, but yes. these are like the three largest. Yeah. And Stewart Island is small compared to um, the South Island and the North Island. I think you can walk. Can you walk the perimeter of Stewart Island in a day? I wouldn't have thought so. But, okay, then it's um, bigger than I thought. I've never been. Oh, I've been once. Um, they don't even have a second-hand bookshop. I was quite shocked. Um, but, but it's a lovely, wild... Um, it is populated, but, but it's, a small, it's a small community. Yeah. So Christina's got a job there working... Um, in the backpackers she got a job there last year she did a month but this mm -hmm. time they've invited her to work for three months which is fabulous oh, that's excellent thank so you she's saving up christina's not really a spender yeah <laughs> we could help her with that <laughs> no she's not bothered um and so she's gonna go she's saving up she, i think she's doing some doc volunteering work as well uh, but anyway, my point in the story is that Christinita has gone away for three months now. So it kind of felt like she's left home now. Because she's going to come back for a week. And then she goes to uni. She's going to live at a hall. So you're an empty nester. Yeah, so I, I left her at the airport. We, we had a little bit of a joke. Because, you know, I'm thoroughly uninteresting to my 19-year-old. Um, <clears throat> we had a little bit of a joke about how often I could contact her. Um, and... 
and then she then she got called and then she she boarded the plane eight passenger it's like a Cessna it was little <laughs> Um, and, and she went and, and I was kind of walking back to the car and I just started crying oh. and I phoned Mark and I said, I'm just so sad. Oh. <laughs> but it's the right thing because she's off to live her life and yeah. we, we want that. You know, being a mum is tricky because you want those things for your kids, but it was a little bit sad. Yeah. So you're now going to strip her room of all her personal objects and turn it into a really pretty guest room like someone's mum I could talk about. I would never do that. Oh. That's right. Then I boomeranged, boomeranged back to my mum's. <laughs> I moved out and then went back. Yeah. Safe for a house. It's great. Thanks, yeah, Mum. No. I would never. I have heard this I have heard so many Kiwi mums that do that. Oh. And it's just like my Peruvian heart bleeds when I hear. Like no, that's not gonna happen with my babies. <laughs> but anyway, so that was really good. Um but she's gone. Change a, a, a different scene. Which now makes my house like a naked house. <laughs> Three months and I won't be judged. I can dress like I want inside my house. <laughs> Lovely. That'll be marvellous. Yeah. So that was quite good. No bras required. No, nothing. Nothing required. Yeah. Totally. I can be feral um, and not be judged. And also, I can just stay in bed for as long as I want to without being judged, which, you know. <gasps> and you don't have to get out of bed because it's a thing you should do. I, that's stay. how society operates. Yeah. 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 So it's really lovely that I get to um, not do that. So anyway, that was that. What else have I been doing? What else has happened? Have I been away? You did something in the weekend because I didn't see you. Yeah, it was kind of... Well, I wanted to hang out with Christina. I actually didn't go to my reading group because I wanted to be home. But then I had such bad period pains that I didn't even watch the terrible, like, Hollywood film that Martin and Christina were going to watch. But it still felt nice to be in the house. Yeah. Um, and have ice cream. <laughs> um, nice. I think, yeah, I don't know. I do want to talk about a book that I read because it was interesting. Yeah, I don't know. So it's um, it's a very famous book. It, it kind of one of those books that become a bit of a sensation, and libraries have to order like two billion copies um, because everybody wants a hold. And it's called um, the End of Your Life Book Club, and it came out in two thousand and seven or two thousand and eight, maybe two thousand and five, something like that. Um, but I'm kind of re-listening. So, so I read it with my eyeballs mm -hmm. the first time. And now I'm re-listening a lot of books. Yep. So I'm listening to the older Jane Austen by audio. Oh, who's reading them? Uh, a variety of people. So, so far, so good. Um, Excellent. But um, it's fascinating to reread something as an older person. So it's called The End of Your Life Book Club because mm. it's about this man. Um, and his mother ha has been diagnosed with... Um, a cancer that zaps you pretty quickly. Um, I want to see pancreas, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, um, and you know, he accompanies her to lots of her appointments and they talk about books because they've always talked about books. Mm -hmm. But what fascinated me is how the first time I read it, I was a younger human and I did not pay attention to the human story. I right. was just like, oh, that book, oh, that book, <laughs> oh, that book. And this time, it was all about the human story. It was all about being a oh. mum, you know, time, you know, like my kids are leaving home. And I was like, all about the bond and how much you love them and you miss them and you want the best, you know, and it was all very emotionally charged. And yeah. So really good. Definitely recommend. End of Life Book Club. Yeah. So the library has a the downloadable audio file. Which oh, is what excellent. I yeah. Excellent. So, Sounds really good. Yeah, um, the library's wiped all the, the Dunedin Public Library has wiped all their fines, so I can get library books out again. Apparently, if you have, if you are late by more than a month, you will still get fined. So they've wiped the historical ones. Excellent. <clears throat> and then you can still be late to returning, but after a month it kicks in again. Oh, okay. That's my understanding. So in effect, you're now getting eight weeks books. Um, fine free. Excellent. Excellent. Which is nice. I got some fines wiped as well. But they don't... Uh, public library, can you just wipe the hold fees as well? Because that would make my life oh, a lot easier. Yes. Yeah. Because I've just gone a little bit hold crazy in the last mm. eight years or so since I started work. Because I used to never get a hold because it was too much money. Yeah. It's, it used to be 50 cents and now it's $1. fifty. So, you know... Is that for holding up. any book or is that for holding the popular ones? No, it's just for a hold that... They have to grab from another library yeah. and send it to your home yeah. library. So I anyway, remember. I'm always mm. factoring this like, am I going to drive to Mosgill? That uh, probably more petrol than a dollar fifty, or yeah. like energy. Yeah. So anyway, 
that's a lot to say. <laughs> Yay, public library. We do love the pub public library. And it's fantastic. I haven't been fine free there since they did a can drive a few years ago. Yes, and each I can remember you dropped that. off and got a dollar off your can uh, off your fine, so I emptied my pantry. Yeah, that was really good, but they didn't do I, I was hoping that they would do that in lieu of taking them off and then mm. start from zero. It was a good really good idea actually. Um Shall that we start was. actually doing craft since we're 15 minutes in? I just wanted to say that Martin didn't think it was warranted. Which really Wiping made me the fines. Like, yeah, roll my sleeves up and like say, I don't agree with you. I know. Because he was like, why can't people just read a book in a month? I'm like, sweetie, everybody has different circumstances oh. and different abilities and different demands on their time. And sometimes people lose books in their car, not realising it was in their car, and turn the house upside down and then find it three months later under the yes. seat. And sometimes people just need to take 30 books out of the library. That's the rules. Right? <laughs> not everybody just borrows two books. What's the point of that? Some men, <laughs> God, Martin, think that's okay. Anyway, so that's it. Right, so let's Excellent. get... Um, you, you get started. Any FOs? I'll get started. I have got no FOs, no FFOs. I don't think I've got... Oh, anyway, you should look, you should look at this. Can you see oh. this? <laughs> you, put, you put your boobs up. And the, let's get my boob up. Victoria made me that. That is a cross-stitch sunflower over a... A button. button. It's a one over one. At one the time, one. when she made it for us, I wasn't back to cross-stitching, and I was like... Really pleased. I thought it was pretty, but I was not impressed enough. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't realise the I am blood, now. sweat, and tears that went into that. <laughs> yes, but yeah. I wear it on my on my dungarees. I love it. Okay, all right. So no FOS. No, no FFOS. I don't think I have FOS and FFOS. No, no. Oh, look at us! Aren't we reaching goals? <laughs> <laughs> Checking come, boxes. They come for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, all right. So, whips. Shall I go first? All right, yeah. so I'll go with the most, I want to say the most boring one, but the one that has got the least amount of impressive progress. So, this is good old Plum, Plum Street Samplers, Miss Bingley's Library. Plum Street Slump Samplery? Plum, Plum Street, what did I say? Samplers. Oh, you're right. It is Plum Street Samplers. Yeah. What do I know? I've only already completed that pattern. <laughs> <laughs> and I have... Finished the roof. Whoop, whoop. So there's the roof done. I have just seen something I would not have expected from you, Victoria. What have you seen? You have... Oh, it's the buttons. Your thread travelling all the way down the sky. Oh, yeah, no, it's the buttons. It's only four stitches. I travel. Okay. I don't travel a huge distance, but I do travel down the back. I mean, I approve wholeheartedly. Whole you can see. But I was surprised at you. For me, that's actually a very neat back. But I won't show you the back any further because I have seen other people's floss tube backs and they look like the front. And I'm uh, aghast. It's amazing. You anyway. have points for aghast, though. You do. Very pretty. So, I'm loving this one. She's just pottering on. And remember how I judged um, <clears throat> the pattern and I was like, slate would be slate, it would not be brown. But with the variegated, it does look very good. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the variegated one. Um, I'm not sure if you're seeing it on the camera, but there's lots of sort of motley coloured in there, and no, it's, yeah, it's, good. it's fine. Very pretty. Excellent. Cool. You. So what have I been doing? Um, oh, I'll show you what I was working on today. So this is my own personal sampler that I'm doing, which is my New Zealand sampler. Ooh. And I love when you this happens. You haven't done anything on this for ages. No, because I kind of got fed up with the alphabet. And then I wanted to get onto the house, but then there are some rules, self-imposed rules that I can't bend, and I can't start the house until I finish the, the alphabet. alphabet. So I've had a nice long break, and so I am back to the alphabet now. It's a beautiful and looking alphabet. Now, where, where? Yeah, so I've done from P to half of W. So you got, oh, nice. Yeah. So the nice thing is, I think I'm gonna not have enough space, so the X, the, the Z, is gonna be here, which I love. I like that. <laughs> That's lovely. So I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this sampler. And you've done your double, you've done your Enya? Is it? Enya, yes. Enya? My Enya's here. Yes. Beautiful. So it is in Spanish. So yeah, I'm I really love happy this with one. This. I can't wait to see how you go with it. 
So this fabric is Silvery Moon by Number 12 Stitch Co. And it's a 36 count linen. So I'm very happy. I am very happy. I am having a moment where I'm like wondering what am I going to do with all these samplers? I am not going to have a house full of samplers hanging on the wall. So this things could end up being put away. I, I just don't know. Hmm. They could also be in, end up being like 10 deep and like one sampler in front of the other that I, I like just it. keep rotating. I, yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't need... Lots of, I've got a lot of artwork. It's about the hand. journey more than you can just give these away as gifts. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I could be one of those selfless people that uses this to wrap a gift, but I'm never going to. <laughs> I would never use a cross stitch to wrap a gift. I would for my babies, but you'd expect them to keep it and not throw it out yes. like wrapping paper. Yeah, I, know, I don't throw out wrapping paper. Are you crazy? I know. I know. No, that's one of my bonds with my mum. I always keep the wrapping paper because she used to do that. And of course, when I was younger, I was slightly like mortified, puzzled. And now I'm like, oh, I'm just like my mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I keep wrapping paper. Of course. Anyway, super delighted with this. So I'm hoping to finish beautiful. that this week. So next fortnight, you will see the house where I've started. Yay! I, was, I want to make sure that the house is not too low down. Sure. So yeah. Um, so I'm using my... yeah, You've got an awfully big space there to fill up. I do. It's going <laughs> to have the kitchen sink and everything is going in this. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I saw, um, there is, um, I buy too many textiles. That has got to stop. But I was looking at an Instagram account where there's, it's an antique shop that sells textiles. Mm, sounds dangerous. Oh, I cannot afford those. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fake of your car. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah, no, no, I cannot afford that. Then just that. enjoy it. Enjoy the images. But they had a couple that were unfinished, and I am so fond of an unfinished sampler, and so I could leave gaps here because that would be kind of romantic and lovely. Oh. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah. And what am I? Oh yes. Yeah, so the crow on the side was New Zealand. <clears throat> it was Quaker Crow work by Work Basket. Yeah, yeah. And I've, I'm using one of my. Um, cross stitch books for all the little bits and bobs that I'm adding to it so I've, <clears throat> when I start adding new things I'll show you but the border was completely you and the um the border was the, me, yeah. the ko-fi ko-fi thank you yellow yeah. flowers yep. yeah and I think I'm gonna have a little house so it's gonna be that library on the peninsula but I want to have a caca beak nice kind of over it nice because that is ridiculous and I love that idea right so that's one all right, so I'll do my second one um, since we're going with alphabets. Which I love. I have been working on Merrily Merrily We Welcome Spring by Blackbird Designs. I love that. Can't get it here. <clears throat> I love it. Love it. And, and Tori's making this for me. Did you know that? <laughs> you can probably get it. <laughs> uh, I've made good progress. I can't quite. I've finished the blue alphabet. So I finished this line here. Sorry, I'm doing the finger to you, that one there. And then I've done everything below that, which is more alphabet. So much alphabet. And some numbers. So that was quite fun. Is that, that the is last al alphabet? Nope. No, 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 no. Alphabet's galore. I've done three, and I think there are five lines. So delicate. Six no, lines. six lines. Six lines of alphabet. But so this is on a 28 count, and I'm just doing one over ones, which is why it's... Out one and a half lines are backstitch. Are they? It looks like backstitch. No, nah, they're still cross stitch. Do you think that's cross stitch? Yeah. Oh god, it'll be over one then. Well, it better not be because I can't. It go looks over tiny. One. I looked at the pattern before. What do I know? I can't no, no, no. see. It's all good. I can't it's all see. good. I looked at the pattern before I decided to do the one over one thing, so I didn't get into trouble. People do that's that. That's the back. That's People true. check for a status of over one when they're uh, choosing if they're going to buy a pattern or not. Oh, I don't mind doing over one. It's just I am stitching the whole thing as a one over one. Well, she's saying so. that she doesn't mind, but her mum's still waiting. Just saying. <laughs> I did like six <laughs> stitches of that one this week, but it's not enough to show you. <laughs> You're welcome, Victoria. Oh, uh, <laughs> gorgeous. When you finish this, I might want to. Yes, you can borrow borrow it. the pattern. Borrow have what is. Or not. But you know, I do think it's I think it's probably the prettiest one that you're working on. It's very sweet. Although cross stitch is one of those crafts where like every second and you're like, oh no, this one's this is the one's, yeah. 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 So that's your second one. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I can't remember if I'd finished this. I think I had, hadn't I? This is how much as I've shown. Yeah, I yep, think I've... you were up to that. So, for those who are interested, that was Catherine's... Um, yeah, show was, it anyway. I, yeah, I was talking about this one, which is his eyes on the sparrow. Yep. But I think I've Because shown... you were telling us you stayed up late to do the houses. Oh, yes, I was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So, I haven't made any progress on this one. But I have... Ooh, that's progress. Made a lot of progress on this one, which is called... Cuando se corona un gusto, which is the Mexican sampler. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Catherine's going through all her bags. Right. Yeah, bag lady. So this one. this one. Cuando se corona un gusto, which is an 18th century Mexican sampler. Which I love. It's already in Spanish. It arrived. It, it was done in Spanish initially. Um, yeah. So I'm loving the blue. So what I did is I just went on a bit of a, a obsessive border. So I finished my border. Which is great. And you, you counted too because she spent last Tuesday, which is our every other Tuesday we just have a craft night. We just get together and stitch. And so she yeah. was counting all of those squares. So, so I was like, very impressed. Chat, 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 chat. Okay, be quiet. I need to count. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I counted knowing that if I, if I was one or two short, it wouldn't matter because there was quite a gap at the end. Yeah. And also So you've left yourself me. some lovely seam allowance again? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. That's fine. That's fine. I was not in If you're not framing it, it's because this was fine. not cut straight. So narrow, wide. So not super delighted about it, but I'm keen to try a rolled hem for this. Nice. Anyway, and this is the one that makes me think, oh, wouldn't this be cute as an unfinished sampler? Oh, just because I love the blue. There's enough um, white space in that that you could add things or not. It looks unfinished is what she's, I'm saying. She's yeah. not She's not agreeing with me. <laughs> Finish the pattern. You do everything that's on the page. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, but anyway, I'm super delighted. So this, the colour of this is... Oh, rain cloud. Oh. Huh. Um, anyway... I'm, I was going to say I'm thrifty. I'm not thrifty, but I will not buy more fabric until I've used up my fabric. Um, but at some point, I am going to run out of this fabric that we bought initially in the first yeah, flurry the of assignment. Um, but this side, I could make some itty-bitty unfinished samplers here. Wouldn't that be the cutest thing? Pink cushions, bookmarks, lots of things. No, just unfinished little samplers. Oh, some of them are so adorable. Cute. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, happy with this. Excellent. And I'm putting them in my roll, so I'll work on them. They're folded in the bag whilst I'm working on them. Yeah. When I'm like, okay, I'm done with this for the time being, it goes in the roll again. That's, that's what I've right. been doing too. I found that the roll was too um, cumbersome to for everyday accessing, but I do two or three or four days on one, and then I'll switch it over. Mm. It's just a, it's a mental barrier. It's not... Um, Physically, it's no biggie. It takes like 30 seconds to get it in and out. I stitch in bed, and it's a pain in the bum having to roll it out on the bed and then roll it back in. So I oh, like okay. to do it once the bed's made and it's all oh, see, my roll not sits covered in cats. Or... Oh, yeah, that's true. My roll sits um, on the basket by my bed, so I have to get oh. Martin say, like, darling. See, my roll lives on top of the wardrobe in my bedroom. Oh, that is cumbersome. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. but and yeah, I think it works, and it is nice to have it flat for like ten days. But it, it's making a huge difference. Like, so this spent, I did four or five days on this, and um, oh, it's got folding creases on it because I've had it folded to show tonight. But generally, you pull it out and it's, it's pretty, it's flat. pretty flat. Like yeah. it still needs an iron before you would want to display it or anything. But it's oh, for definitely sure. um, <clears throat> you know. 60-70% better than if you have it continuously folded. Yeah, and also because we tend to fold in the same crease line. Yeah, and that's what we were trying to avoid so you don't get... Yeah, because yeah, apparently we're not finishing a sampler in a fortnight. No. Who'd have thunk? It's the jobs. It's the mm -hmm. jobs what does it. It's the jobs. Yeah. Um, what else? Wait, is that me? Did you just do one? I've just done one. Alright, I'll do my final one. So, I have been working also on Autumn Quaker by Rosewood Manor. Which is great. I've seen a few people do this um, on the online yeah, recently. Yeah, it's popping up quite a bit. I'm now, I want to, um, so this one's coming along quite nicely. It's not a particularly hard stitch. Um, so I've moved through it reasonably quickly. 
Um, so I'm looking to start one of the other seasons because I've got the pattern for all four seasons. But mm. the place where I bought the thread no longer ships to New Zealand because of current... It's temporarily not shipped. One, two, three um, stitches where I've bought the threads. Actually, quite a few companies from the US are not shipping. Not shipping out. Not so. even with um, DHL and yeah. all those couriers. Um, it's just too difficult, too cumbersome. People are, I suppose what's happening is that things take so long, people are like, have you lost my parcel? And then that be, that creates a whole load of work around yep. trying to find the parcel. And it's just too hard. Too hard, and there's just not enough um, regular routes or shipping, you know, anyway. It's not straight. Nothing's it's straight. It's not straight. Yeah. So, it's alright. We may just be a little bit behind on. It won't be quite as... Um... I've lost all the words tonight. Quick. Yeah, so I wanted to sort of finish one, start the other, finish one, start the other, and I had not bought the threads because the threads are expensive, and I was like, well, finish it before you build it. But you're, the you've got at least a month. Yeah. I mean, I've got plenty to be going on with. Well, don't you have at least a month? Oh my God, do you think you're going to finish? I've only got this much left. Yeah, but that's a big medallion, and you're doing third. other things. But look how much white space, sorry. So what I've got left is sort of this line here No, but below. you've got the medallion and this medallion. So that medallion is busy. That medallion is basically done. That's a lot of white space. I mean, I could I could hit this out. In a, yeah, you're right, in a month. No, that medallion's not done. I'm talking about this medallion. Okay, yeah, that's not done. And that's big and busy. All right. No, I think you've got a, a month. Yeah. But even even then, if I finish this in a month, I'm not entirely convinced I can get the thread at all for the next And you might, I yeah. think you need a palette cleanser between projects. It's like reading a novel, you can't start another one the minute you finish one. You you have a palate cleanser. No. Which is one <laughs> and over no, okay. <laughs> what I what I get into trouble with is that I'll start a book and I always finish a book unless it's really, really bad. And I read a lot of trash, so a lot of them are really, really bad. But <laughs> the bar is low. <laughs> <laughs> I read a book and if I get to the end I'm like, Oh, that wasn't a very good book. I need another book. Um so I've got to not start books after 10 o'clock because I don't put them down. Oh. And it becomes a 2 o'clock issue. And <laughs> Anyway. I need a palate cleanser. That's all I'm saying. That's where it's at. It's looking great. I'm loving it from a distance. The, the, the russet tones are gorgeous. And I have done this week this leaf motif, that motif, and that motif, which is about two-thirds done. Gorgeous. And it just got laid. And you got sensible. Yeah. You're very sensible, actually, aren't you? Because you still read after stitching. I it? try and stop stitching. So I go home 6 o'clock. I'll stitch from probably 7 till 9. And I try and stop stitching between 9 and 10 so I can read for 2 or 3 hours. Light out, midnight. But I've been really tired recently, so it's been light out sort of 11 o'clock, 11.30. So. Yeah, because you're working harder at work and yeah. weekends and all that. Yeah. That's all good. Nice. What else have I got? <clears throat> oh, so I'm now working on the linen and threads 2020 sale, I think it was. So, um, yeah, it was the 2021. Friends and family. Yeah. So, excuse me. I've just finished this part here. And I did say to Victoria, oh, it's really small. I think I'll finish. And then she said, remember what you said when they made you do this. <laughs> but actually, it was quick. Yeah. So there is a bit of difference between this, which was a lot, and this one, which was this, this, and this, maybe, what was it? Two things or three things? I love oh, this there is a little thing, yeah. So it was this, and this little crowny, roundy thingy, and that. So really enjoying it. I don't know why they suggested that you buy like 8 billion threads. Do you not think you're going to use it all? No, not at all. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed with that, but never mind. But you were doing it one over... Two. One over two, yeah. I think they probably would have kitted it up originally for a big account in doing two over two. Yeah, probably 28. Maybe that's just a stand. And they always... They always do a bit extra, yes, so that you're safe. But anyway, I'm making lots of really good progress. So I did this motif here, looking great. Then there is this little bit, and then there is this one. So it's oh, all I've finished. I've got a thread at the front. Oh no, it's from from my needle. From your needle. Um, so that clue is finished. I'm not doing any of the initials. 
yet because it's friends and family so every so often there's like a set of initials that you can put to represent a friend or a family i'm really keen to have my mother's family and oh, my mum. Oh, nice. So like a wee family tree, not a tree, but, yeah. you know. So honouring my mum. And I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the female line. Um, but apparently, say in Scottish samplers, historically, if the people had died, they would do it in black. And I think that would be too jarring and not me. But I was thinking, oh, I But I like that for another project. Yeah. But I was thinking, oh, I wonder if I could do it in gold. But you know how obnoxious gold thread is oh well i might have something on that yeah so anyway that that's kind of it's marinating in the back nice um so yeah i think all my mum's sisters have also died oh uh, very sorry to hear that i didn't really know them they were in scotland i did meet them but i'm not not she had a sister that lived in canada that had emigrated but anyway i just think it's a really nice way of honoring I think gold would be when, beautiful. But I was thinking gold, and I was thinking, oh, Catherine. No. I would have to, I would have to audition yeah. the colours. Well, I've just ordered some gold thread today, and I'll let you know if it's any better than the... Yeah. Because I have gold thread at home, but they would be it's, a beast. Yeah. The they gold, be beast. everyone knows the metallics are not fun. I actually wonder if maybe silver would be better. With, I'm, I'm thinking with this colouring, because the gold might fight too much with this, but maybe you silver... Thought? I don't I know. I think you might lose the silver on the um, on the th fabric. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have a thing. So I haven't made decisions. And so my next thing is that I'm doing the bit here. Nice. So you're yeah. almost halfway through. So I do um, my goal, which I've not stuck with, is um, one clue per fortnight. Nice. Yeah. And so this linen was, it's Edinburgh, 35 count flax. I like the flax and I like the natural. I think this year, though, I've decided that those are my colours. Yeah, although I'm going to buy from Country Stitches, I'm just going to buy, like, blue and green. Yeah. yeah. When, I'm, when I'm, like, allowed, allowed to, to buy, buy fabric. Yeah. Yeah, so that was moi. That's all your cross-stitch? No, I've got more. Oh. I went in a bit of a frenzy. You did. Um, I, I think I just have one more. Yeah. I have also started... Oh yes, this was Kim. So Kim did this. Kim from Cataloging My Stitches. Hi Kim. Hi Kim. And I can't show my pattern because it's from a, a digital magazine. So um, do you reckon you could show it back Cross here? Cross Stitcher. No, probably not. I'm not gonna. Um, Cross Stitcher magazine. Thank you, Kim. I hate working on this. <laughs> <laughs> this. I was thinking this is so funny because this is the first time, and I don't really hate it anymore. But at the beginning, oh, I hated it. Um, I really want the outcome. Mm -hmm. I'm not enjoying the process so much, although I've kind of got into the rhythm. I had to stop myself from continuing. Um, and I'm assuming that's because there's quite a few changes of color and there's no rhythm to it. It's all... Yeah, there is no rhythm. There are kind of, it's, um, the way they've designed it is almost like it's pixelated. Mm. So it's blousy flower. So I'm, I'm, so this is, um, a daisy flower. <sighs> so good. It looks so, good. So it's not like, Oh, this is a very clear petal. Yep. No, it's like blousy and bits missing. Cause, but that's mm -hmm. the style of the design. So there was a lot of counting. And no repetition. And there was plenty of like, oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to look amazing anyway. Um, but I have finished. And of course, here, I don't you can't tell. Of course, I've done my own colours from DNC. Just I've eyeballed them. I was like, oh, this one. Not DNC, in fact. Um, what we were given by Kaz. Um mm. So I was just like, oh, this looks pretty, this looks pretty. Kaz but you Carol? probably, um, Kaz. Okay. Um, Kaz, who is Carol? Um, um, yeah, and you can tell. There is like three different blues there. Yeah, it looks, it's looking amazing. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. This is going to be a pin cushion. And of course, this was the fabric that Kaz also sent us. Mm -hmm. And I dyed it with avocado skins and called it Tierra because I'm that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm really happy with this. I can't wait until it's ready to be a pin cushion. And I don't know what the count is, but it's quite big. But I'm really enjoying it. And once I got over my um, hissy fit, <laughs> I actually was enjoying it. I had to force myself to stop. Nice. Yes. So I'm happy with this. Happy with this. Excellent. Yeah. And so that's from Stitcher magazine. 
which is you know a digital resource that I have available because I work at the, at the university and I have access to that digital library. Mm -hmm. Although shout out to the public library, they probably do have um, a, a stitching magazine as well I'm that, sure you could, it, well, yeah. that you could borrow online. So that's quite good. Um, I think that might be it. I, 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 I think I don't have any more. All right. I'm not a shopper, but. Oh, she's a shocker, that's what she is. <laughs> I didn't even know about it until lunchtime today. <laughs> I was I was having my lunch. I had some sushi. It was that great. That was really early, wasn't that? Didn't you text me early? Could we pretend it was lunchtime and I wasn't looking at my phone during the day? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Out of <did> you. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Anna is doing another mystery stitch along. Christmas themed one and Catherine and I have had huge conversations about not getting caught up in the um we weren't going to do I wasn't going to do any themed like I'm going to do Christmas and I wasn't going to do Halloween and I wasn't going to do Valentine's Day and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do all of them so I, I, we've had chats I don't think that it's ever, it's ever been like a like a thing like no. oh, being like oh I don't know what to do this is so no it's just been initial we were like nah not our thing yeah apparently I have is. stuck to my guns <laughs> <laughs> so, Barbara Anna is doing a uh, Christmas 2021 mystery stitch along. It is not one of her dreaming series because it's not, I'm assuming, because it's not in the title. So, it may not have a large figure on it. I'm hoping it does. So, this was released, the first se first section was released uh, yesterday. And I bought it at lunchtime and I had all the threads. And it's supposed to be done on a pale blue or a light blue fabric. And I was like, oh. I've got fabric from another project that I'm not doing. So I'm going That's to use pretty. my country stitch. This is 40 count Arctic Ice and I thought that is perfect. Nice. So I'm going to use that. So I'm all set to go but the only thing I didn't have was gold thread and they are... So she shopped? So I shopped at lunchtime. Oh see this is a nice thing actually because now you totally are in that place where like I don't have to buy every thread anymore because you've I've actually got built exactly. up a collection. So what I didn't have was the Krynik. Krynik. Very fine braid number four antique gold 221. So I have ordered that. Ooh. People have mixed feelings about Krynik. Oh what are the mixed feelings? Well you know some people love it some people like this is hard it's and, and they talk about other brands which of course I don't pay attention yeah. to um, where they go like this is easier than Krynik or whatever. So well I haven't I tried it. I have to try it lots. I thought I'd give it a go and I thought if I found it easy you could borrow it because I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to need like this much and it's 11 meters of it so oh, okay. if you need the rest. Um, so hopefully I've Great. got that coming my way. I, as I said, I was a little bit late to the um, the party on this, and most of the shops in New Zealand that stock it uh, was sold out. So I'm oh, hoping really? I have found one. But I'm not entirely certain because they don't oh. have their stock. On. Also, look in um, Australia. True. Hmm. I was trying local, and then I'll try Aussie. Yeah, if that fails, is what I mean. Yeah, definitely support. Um, oh, New and if Zealand all else does. fails, I'm sure I can find a gold thread somewhere. Yes. And if all else failed, you can work on everything else apart from the gold to start with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm imagining. Or Victoria, mm -hmm. be a devil. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way this is going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's the first clue already. Yes, yes. So the first section, I can't show it to you because it's in a pet. Oh, uh, I can show oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's a picture of... It's some wee snowmen and some Christmas trees and things. So it's just little. It's only, I think, 75, 72 by 105 stitches. So not huge. Nice. But nice for Christmas one. I did I did laugh when I got your text because it's like, Victoria's not a texter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, she's happy. Oh, I try. <laughs> I try. There was joy in There was text. joy. Um... But now I've got no money, so what is? Oh, she says that. Not that it was now. very expensive. Don't believe her. Oh. Don't believe her. Um, okay, so I did great stuff today. So what did you do? Tuesday. And this is just to say that. Today is Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, so, no, today is Tuesday. So Tuesday, my colleague Max and I, is our, is our escapade day. Mm -hmm. So we go out for lunch and we go to an op shop. Nice. That's, that's what we do. We're that fancy. <laughs> so today, I decided that I didn't want to buy new pans for the housing. Because I need new pans because it's a different cooker. It's a... Uh, it's an induction. Yep. Induction. Is it an induction? 
I think so. It's the one you got her special pots for. Yeah, is it... What's the other called? There's electric, there's ceramic, there's induction, there's gas, there's elect... It's electric already. I'm pretty sure it's induction. Induction, okay. It's the um, magnet one. Yes. So, um... Our, po our pots don't work. Our pans don't work, in fact. <laughs> As we discovered. <laughs> yes. Um... Anyway... I found out how much they were in a couple of places and they're about $150 for a set and then I was thinking about it and then I said to Martin you know what I'm gonna look in the op shops because I don't like buying new things now um, anyway I bought three pans for nine nine dollars and they're induction ones yes well they work with a magnet because that's a test and I just happened to have a oh is that how you test it you try yeah that's what they tell you on the onlines. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so anyway, so instead of spending $150 on pants, I spent nine. And my hubby, who's very well trained, I emailed him and I said, bargain, $9 pants. And he said, ooh, does that mean that you can spend 140 on textiles, sweetie? <laughs> and you said, yes, that's Which exactly is, what it means. I said, done. <laughs> Except that actually I'll spend 150 because, you know. Yeah, that's right. let's round it up. Yeah. Um, yes, so I'm not... Like, I'm just not, I, I just don't have the appetite to spend on anything at the moment. But I did buy, um, I have bought two antique textiles. Ooh, uh, where from? I bought them from a company in um, Australia. So, remember I was doing the festival, the Soul yes, Craft yes. Festival, which left me exhausted. And it was fun and exhausting. So, the last talk I listened to was, was with a lady called Simone. And she is, I'm not quite sure how you say it. So, she's. Uh, Laos Australian I'm not sure if it would be Lao Australian anyway her parents and she was born in Laos as well um, but they went to Australia as refugees and she's now she's had this amazing life an amazing career and she's gone back with um, I think UNICEF to work in Laos and done all sorts of really wonderful things and then she got into weaving she learned to weave there um, and she now has a, a weaving hall for um, there's a lot of migration in Laos, mm -hmm. so people from the mountains are moving into the cities. A lot of knowledge is being lost, so she created this weaving hall so that people could find a place. To... Anyway, all that to say, really interesting talk. Really enjoyed it, and of course I went to um, to check her website, which I think is called Western Weft. And of course she has a section on her website. She sells textiles. She sells new textiles that they make in that hall. And she makes things that she makes as well. She sells things that she makes as well. But also antiques. Ooh. And she she had antique baby carriers. I have one antique Chinese meow people baby carrier. I just couldn't resist. So I bought one. And I was just click happy. I was like, no, wait. It wasn't. Uh, hang on, I'm telling a story. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then I realized that there was another one that was even more infinitely beautiful to my taste. And so I messaged her, I said, hello, I was a bit click happy, can I show up my, my, my choice? <laughs> she was so adorable. She was like, sure. Um, and then we got chatting. She was very lovely. And I was like, oh, I collect textiles and I think they're so beautiful and stuff. And then she was, and then she couldn't find the one I'd bought. Mm. It's fine. Um, and so she sent me like 12 photos. What about this one? What about that one? What about this one? I was like, I, I think I need to have two now. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought two baby carriers um and it's great because it gets plowed back into mm -hmm. um that company and i think it's a good thing and it comes to me who really values textiles yeah. so i bought two um and then it was an um, end of monsoon sale so i got it was like 25 percent off or something so anyway 90 dollars each Australia. oh well that's pretty good i thought that was okay yeah and the aussie and new zealand dollar are pretty um comparable at the moment oh, maybe i don't know there's Ish. Five-ish cents in it, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not a lot. Oh, okay, because I was thinking it would be 120 New Zealand, but clearly not. So that's good. I could be wrong. It's no, 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 I don't know. Yeah. Literally, I don't know. But I was thinking, oh, 120, I'll be fine. Uh, so then I got my discount, and then I was able to share posts. So I was justify, justify, oh, of justify. of course, of course. And then I got my cheap pans, okay? <laughs> um, so, I, yeah, yeah, I, um, I, I did decide I was going to start spending less money because we've just built this house we still don't have a final mortgage because we're waiting for our code of compliance from the dc it's just a little bit complicated at the moment a little bit skinned also martin's going to retire in march we've decided he's going to take early retirement 
whether they offer him early retirement or not. He's going to retire early in March, hopefully. Um, so I kind of have to start being sensible now. But then I thought it gives me so much pleasure. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm having, I'm, yeah. I'm having them. Yeah. So very beautiful. And they're coming from Australia, so I hope that's okay. And then I did try and... You might not get them before Christmas now, but that's all right. Oh, no, that's okay. I did have two failed attempts at buying um, textiles from Mexico. Just, what made them fail? Um, oh, one of them, they still haven't responded. So that's a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, and I had a failed attempt with Peru as well, which is... But the Mexico thing, this, the textiles were so beautiful, but the postage was going to cost three times the cost of the textile. And so yep. these are already treats for me. Mm -hmm. they're, they're already outside of like my normal like yep. budget. Um, so the very idea that I would then pay three times the postage, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. I just thought, Catherine, this is a sign from the universe to not be silly. Because then I was thinking, oh gosh, I only have to do this a few times. And then I was like, I might as well just fly to Mexico. Yeah. So I didn't buy that. And then I try and buy, I did try and buy something from Peru. And it wasn't quite what I wanted. Because I'm, I'm very clear on what I'm trying to collect from Peru. Um, but I was so excited to buy direct from the seller. But, oh, the prices just made my eyes sting. Um, not to say that, you know, they work hard. You know, these are yeah. handmade items yeah. and I do admire them, but it's just outside of my yeah. bracket. So that was a little bit sad. So I was <laughs> like, oh, well, I'll buy from Australia because I can't afford that. And really beautiful. Oh. I'm looking forward to showing Oh, them. I can't wait to see. Very beautiful. How will you display them? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have been thinking that what I need to do, because um, I trained as an archivist as well, um, and they share a lot of knowledge archives and libraries and museums share a lot of knowledge and I was thinking actually what I need to do is I need to buy some archival papers to and boxes to actually preserve things properly mm. like you know tissue paper but archival quality yeah. um, I don't I don't need to have them on show in the house okay um, not all of them some of them definitely mm. oh am I kidding yeah, Martin's going to have a corner. I'm going to have the rest of the house <laughs> for my stuff. Martin's going to have, the, have like the sub-floor area there, a bit under the house, <laughs> where all the paint buckets and stuff go. <laughs> so beautiful, though. I mean, people are amazing. Oh, the Hmong people are just... Their, their, their skills at making and the embroidery is just out of this world. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yes, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. And also, my bill arrived for... Um, I've been buying textiles in France... Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that for about six months. So, because the postage is expensive. Oh, it's that, um, is this the place with your um, shirt? Yes. So I bought two 18th century workmen's shirts um, and various other bits and bobs. Um, and so my packet got heavy enough to warrant the next level of postage, which makes it so much more mm -hmm. like financially viable. Um, so... The account that I shop with is called La Grosse, La Gros Toile. So La Grosse <laughs> Toile. <laughs> La Gros Toile. Uh, toile. Um, she's amazing, Johanna. She's Australian, actually, and she lives in... So I'll try and remember and put her details there. And I'll also put the details of the website yeah. um, for the Laos um, Yeah, But it company. might take... I'll try and post this tonight and Catherine will go and edit the, the text tomorrow. So Yes. Yes. If it's so, not there, yeah. <laughs> give it 24 hours. Yeah. So if you know any accounts um, where, you know, you can buy textiles. Actually, I thought at one time I would show textiles I collect from the English-speaking world. Like, the things mm -hmm. we take for granted. Like, the doilies and the embroidered trade cloths and stuff. Because I've got quite a collection of those as nice. well. So, anyway. I don't, know, I don't know what happened there. We got sidetracked. Oh, I've got one thing to show. So you finished? Oh, well, I think this is the end of the cross stitch, but yeah. we went back to gossip. Yep. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just before we came here, as I was stitching, waiting for hubby to cook tea, um, I was watching Susan Stanley's uh, A Stitch in Time, her floss tube. I don't know if you've ever watched her. I don't think I have, no. I quite like it because um, she doesn't follow what I perceive as like the perceived rules of floss tube. So she makes this quilting and cross stitch. I think that's brilliant. Go you, keep going. Um, but I had to laugh today because she likes to like she talks about historical stuff. So you always learn mm -hmm. in her floss tube. 
Um, sometimes I already know what she's talking about, but there's always a little tidbit that's interesting. Um, and she has a lovely way of delivering her knowledge and all that. So that was really great. But the, <laughs> today's episode, which is a few days old now, um, I, I think it's not the last one, but the one before, she was talking about historical colours because she does mm -hmm. reproduction quilts. So they were all like reproduction antique fabrics and yeah. all this. And um, it was all around the colour orange. And really, she spent the whole chapter going. And, you know, we all like orange is a lot, you know. <laughs> and, like, so, like, you know, we don't want to do too much orange because it's frightening and stuff. And I'm like... Now, orange is great. We need more Latin American women that are like, <laughs> yes, orange. Like, come on, Mexican people, Guatemalan oh. people. Let's not be stereotypical here, but we all understand orange, don't we? Which is like a nice little entree for my orange cardigan. <laughs> so anyway, she was trying to convince people that if you mix orange with other colours, no, it's very own. approachable. But for, for, um, like for cross-stitch and quilts, sure. like you, people might wear an orange cardigan, but yes. they won't. Uh, but they might, but they're a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, it was, I was chuckling to myself, going, I don't need convincing. So anyway. You've done heaps. I'm making progress, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to not go full pelt on this because I use this as my, I can take this to knit whilst, whilst I'm with people mm -hmm. and not ignore them because I don't need to concentrate that much. Yeah. So it's a, you're in your, it's your in the car or the at a meet, not at a meeting, but you know. I have a meeting with Boston tomorrow. I always knit in that meeting. My boss is just used to me now. Um, yeah, so I knit in the car or knit if I'm waiting. And knit if, I, if I'm with a good friend that knows me and understands that I'm not being rude, I will knit. So, um, I love this honeycomb at the back. Show the back. Oh my God, I love this honeycomb. But I really need to stop using it because apparently two items, enough already. No, keep going. It's so gorgeous. this is all around honeycomb. Um, and I love this. Did I tell you a story about this other? I've got a vest that's exactly these two <laughs> stitches. I was like, oh, I clearly love these. Um, so really lovely. So this is the Peary yarn. Oh, I need to hide my... It's a bit lumpy. Um, Peary yarn from Brooklyn Tweed. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Not rushing it too much. Sorry, my cat's just come into the room. It's taking great interest in Catherine's. Oh, yes, and um, bits oh, and bobs. Speaking of, mm -hmm. so this is from my pants. <laughs> this is from my trousers that I love, that I bought from the Recycle Boutique in Wellington. Mm -hmm. The Recycle Boutique has returned to Dunedin. Ooh. So it's a second-hand shop. They, they, they sell kind of like... I don't want to say fancy, but it's not like your op shop, op shop. It's it's a business mm. and it sells recycled stuff. But you'll find brands like designer brands and stuff. Oh, anyway, it's, the cat. it's back in Dunnes. <laughs> say hello to um, everyone. She's just had a shave. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's on George Street. So that's kind of cool. Oh. If people like second hand clothing. So that's quite good. Nice. Did you see that um, Toffs is going? I, I was at Toffs today because it's going. Oh. Um, everything good had gone. Oh, I forgot to show my quilt. Can I show my quilt? How... Yeah. 58 minutes. Let's show my quilt. For us, it's relatively short. So this is what I was whinging about. Period pains. As a... I thank you for all the sympathy I got on Instagram. <laughs> Woe is me. Um, so I said I would do... So this quilt... I, I made this quilt for Christina years ago now. Oh, she's moved. I say that. Maybe not that long ago. She's had it at least a year. But as well as the circles, there's lots of these where I've just quilted a circle, no no fill. Anyway, so pretty. I went on a... I said, I'll just do 10 circles. I must have done like 30 or 40. <laughs> I spent all day on this. I had the best time. And I was doing it with my plate because I like... I like this connection to previous generations where they did not go to the shop and buy a template. But rather, they looked around in their homes and they were like, oh, yes, I will use my pepper pot or yeah, my, my jarlid. tank card. And, yeah. Um, yeah, my jarlid. I was using a plate and, an, and the blunt edge of the knife to mark it. And it's a, an amazing marker. Nice. You don't have to like mark it with um, like a disappearing pen or anything like that. So, really enjoyed this. It's beautiful. And I was thinking, um, that's one of those things. 
It's funny, when you're at the end of a project, you're like, I've done enough. And after a break, you're like, oh, I can do more. Do you want? Yeah. Yeah, and then you, you literally can. You can keep going back to quilts and like um, quilting them more or uh, highlighting something. Yeah, yeah. so that was, that was great fun. It's a gorgeous quilt. What does she need a new Well, You're still making her a new one though for uni, aren't you? Yes, and that's what I forgot to bring. Mm. So um, the, the log cabin quilt idea did not work. Yeah. I've got another idea, but it's okay to park an idea. Mm. So Connect that one's parked. Um, I'm making her an eight-pointed star quilt. Um, and so what it is is like a big um, eight-point star. And then I've made, I'm in the process of, well, I've made two, but it's going to be like a main star near her pillow and then tumbling stars. So they're cool. all going to be like a slight angles. And then at the bottom, there's going to be like incomplete stars, like they've fallen. And there's also nice. going to be lots of graffiti, sort of confetti with a little bits of fabric floating around. Oh, I can't a, wait to see it. It sounds awesome. With a light blue background. And it's very flowery and it's very Christina. Nice. So I think this is a much better fit. Although we haven't talked about it. I said to her, because Christina's a bit like me. She's like, she's quite an eco kid. And she's like, I already have all, everything I need. You've already made me a quilt. And I'm like, sweetie, just leave me be a <laughs> mum. I know what I'm doing. So we're not really talking about it. Right. But I was like, do you like this? If you were to choose some fabric, which one would it be? So she did, she did pick pick some fabrics that I could use. Excellent. Oh, that was lovely. Yeah. Excellent. So I've been, I don't know, I feel like I've been super productive. It seems like you've done heaps, but I, you always yeah. do heaps. Yeah, some weeks it just feels like, well, hopefully I will get lots done this weekend. Oh, one minute on one second. Can I just tell you about my Friday? Yeah, okay. We've decided that we're going to have our garden landscaped oh i forgot you because you met with them on the site didn't you no that's on friday this is friday. okay yes I've got we've my just booked confused. it and i've just phoned him so we just decided um so the company that we're using is called habitate and they're out of white Atty. and so we met them when we had an organic farm so we don't have to like convince this landscaper that we want to keep it organic mm -hmm. so he does permaculture and organic it's not either or it's like permaculture organic um and you know i don't know about anybody else but i'm 49 and i'm kind of knackered <laughs> um martin's 62 like he doesn't want to be like digging and like doing back breaking stuff no. get someone else to establish it for you yeah so we're going to get someone to set it up yep. and then we can just enjoy the gardening and the idea is that it's going to be like not so intensive excellent um i don't know the way I'm justifying it is like it just keeps the circular economy going. It's like we support a local person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm convincing myself. But anyway, I'm very happy with our choice. See, we bought our orchard from him. Like all the, all the trees uh, in the orchard, yeah. they came from his company. So if you're interested in doing something like that or buying uh, local orchard trees, um, the company's Habitate. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that exercise on Friday. Also, if someone knows a gardener that they can recommend in Dunedin, I'm desperate. There are no gardeners in Dunedin. Oh. Every time I think I've got a lead and someone's going to come and do it for a reasonable price, I cannot pay $60 an hour. No, that's the thing, isn't it? It's the... I came across a company and there was $60 an hour and that's just, mm. no. Um, but anyway. Yes, so I'm going to have a new garden soon. Excellent, that's it's gonna very be like exciting. Garden. And he said they try and do it quite quickly as well, which is oh, great. Excellent. So excellent. we can actually make the most of the season. Yeah. So I'm going to be there this weekend. It's going to be garden and then tra-la-la. Excellent. Yes, excellent. Oh, well. That's it. Yeah. Have we talked enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, have a, a lovely fortnight. Yes, we'll um, see you in a fortnight. Yeah, go and see that Susan Stanley thing. It's, it's yeah. sweet. Um, yeah, we'll see you in a fortnight. Keep those comments coming. We really enjoy interact. I really enjoy interacting with people. I read them. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.